put together uh, a couple of wonderful things. The first one is uh, uh, what I call a virtualized studio, an entire studio virtualized on this uh, petaflop rank. So some of you may uh, be familiar with this concept of virtualization, where you can take your entire workstation experience, right? your entire workstation experience, end-to-end -end workstation experience, and put it on a server, and have a remote access, and have all your tools, all your data, everything sitting on the server, and be accessible anywhere and everywhere. So uh, we have four, uh, you know, I'd call it 10 clients, portable clients that are put here. The first one is a Dell notebook, okay? Can we show the Dell notebook? Okay, it's running Maya on the petaflop rack. And let's, uh, the second machine we have is a thin client from HP, okay? And it's running Blender on the Sunnyvale well rack. And the third machine we have is a MacBook Air, okay? MacBook Air is running uh, which application? New. Okay. And then we have an iPad here running uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. The full applications, these are not you know, apps, these are the full suite of applications in there. And in fact, Omar will show you that you can actually interact with these things. You know, that uh, are you playing Adobe Premiere Pro? Yes, yeah, so you can interact. It's the full production flow. Now, what is significant about this demo that we're showing here? on this rack. Each GPU can support up to 16 users. This rack with 80 GPUs can support 1,280 Vega sessions, 1,280 simultaneous users can be supported on this, on this rack. So that is like taking a medium-sized studio, right, your entire set of workstations, and put it in the cloud, protect your data, and enable all your artists, all your designers to work from anywhere, anywhere they are, without compromising your data security and all. That's the virtualization demo. We, this morning, the team was able to launch a, a full photorealistic render on this 80 Vega GPUs. So, Omar, show us uh, what the 80 GPUs are doing. So they are rendering this beautiful photorealistic looking motorcycle on the, on the GPU. So as he's updating, all of the data, right, from each node is coming across network back to it. So the update delay that you see is all network delay. Now, those of you in the rendering community know how long it takes for you to get a frame of this quality render back from a server, right? How, how long does it take? Too long. Minutes, seconds, hours, too long. Yes, that's the right answer. And <laughs> We are able to update this thing. So this is the world's first petaflop render that you saw live from the Sunnyvale.